Tom Soltis today. And this is kind of a special occasion for me because Tom is the nephew of Sammy Hagar, and it's interesting that the very first rock star I ever introduced was Sammy Hagar 30 years ago. And today, today Tom has sort of uh, been passed the torch. He's uh, got his own material. He's going to play a song for us, and uh, he's here with this guitar that Sammy Hagar actually gave him. Do you want to tell us that story, Tom? Yeah, it's actually a really cool story. Um, and thanks for having me here, by the way. I really appreciate it. I'm in the desert, my hometown. It's where my roots came from. And um, this is actually where he gave me this guitar, just right down the road from here, actually. Um, when I was about 13, uh, he made a deal with me if I learned how to play two or three of his songs. He'd give me my first electric, and I was like, okay, I'm going to learn those songs for sure. So I learned I Can't Drive 55 and Make It Last. And uh, sure enough, he pulls out this thing, you know, just a Fender Squire. It's all beat up now. I just hang it on my wall because it's a little memorabilia. And uh, he signed it right there, Sammy Hagar. So it's just a real um, inspiring moment in my life. And it uh, kind of compelled me to keep playing and it's just like, Give me that passion, you know. Really, a very special day for me. Uh, and what happened after you've been playing that guitar for a while? And you called your grandmother. Oh, I, I called my grandma. I told her I'd just written a song. And I gotta say, this is Sammy's sister. Yes, uh, his Velma. Velma, hey, Velma Otterman now. But uh, I called her up, and I'm just like, yeah, you know, Grandma, I'm really doing my music. I wrote my first song. Uh, I'm really excited about it. And she's like, oh, I'm so proud of you. You know, your uncle wants to talk to you, and it's. Uncle Sammy, and uh, I start talking to him, I'm like, yeah, Uncle Sammy, he's like, dude, he's like, you know, I just had a little thing for me, he's like, I think you're going to be the one to carry the torch, man, he's like, you're going to carry the torch, and I'm like, wow, you know, I was just like, just got chills, I was like, really, like, I mean, that's a big thing to hear from your Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uncle, to tell you that you're going to carry the torch that he's lit for you, yep, yep. so it's very special. So what are you going to play for us today? I'm going to play um, this song, I just wrote this song not too long ago, uh, what inspired this song was uh, the war that's going on about ter terrorism and um, it kind of compelled me to write a song about the soldiers who have dedicated their lives because I think that's a really big thing and I've, I've heard about it on the news and I've, I've seen documentaries and it really compelled me to write something about it and that's why I wrote this song, it's called Blood Stripes. And uh, I'll play that guy, play it for you right now. I'll take this, this guitar and you can okay. play that one. Thank you very right. much. Thank you. Tom? We call this Crank It Up. <laughs> crank It Up. This one's Blood Stripes. Sometimes I find myself just wondering why We all have to fight, have to live our lives Our brothers and sisters die It makes me sad to think about our boys at war And what they're fighting for I pray to the Lord, he'll bring them back before Follow their sons and daughters They get too old to remember the fathers And God only knows to live in the beautiful And while we all just sit in the rain Just live our lives Our soldiers die Their mothers cry
Now she falls in tune to now That a baby child did just be gone for a while That now down the